Well, it's the 31st of March 2023, and Trials of Osiris is back for the weekend. I mean, once again, you got the chance to get some great weapons and armor from the weekly PvP event in Destiny 2. Well, trials are around from Friday until recent on Tuesday, so you've got until then to hunt down the available rewards this weekend. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell and roughly 95% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed. So subscribe today and never miss an update. Okay, let's get the important information out of the way first, and that is the map and the Adept loop for the weekend. For the map for the weekend, we've got the Burnout, and for the Adept loop for the weekend, we've got an Adept Whistler's Whim. Also, it's worth noting that we've got bonus Trials ranks this weekend, so it's double XP, a great time to get that Trials loot. So stick around for info related to weapons of girls to chase in Season of Defiance. Well, Trials of Osiris are the pinnacle PvP activity in Destiny 2 in every weekend, the best players compete in 3v3 elimination for one goal, and that is to go flawless. First of all, head down to see Saint-14 in the tower, and don't forget to pick up the passage of your choice. Loot is no longer acquired by winning 3, 5 and 7 matches, it's all about winning the rounds, not the matches, and that helps you rank up at Saint-14 in the tower to get that trials loot. So rank up to earn armour, weapons and powerful upgrades, plus you get trials engrams while you are playing trials. Okay, let's have a look at the loot this season. So we've got Whistler's Whim, The Inquisitor, Exalted Truth, Unwavering Duty, Astral Horizon, The Immortal, and also the Atavistic Armor. Swim so rounds and rank up at Save 14 in the tower to get even more rewards. We've also got Trials of Osiris Legacy loot. So in addition to the regular rewards, we've got Legacy Focusing. So just go and speak to Saint 14 and you can check that out. That means you can get weapons and armor from past seasons. So first of all, the weapons, we've got Shira's Wrath, Reed's Regret, Aisha's Embrace, Burden of Guilt and Forgiveness. And for the armor, we've got the Pyrrhic Ascent armor and the Exile armor. Okay, let's have a look at a closer look at the Gorals to Chase in Season of Defiance. So we've got Whistler's Whim, it's a Kinetic Bow, 4 PvE, Killing Wind and Kill Clip, and PvP Tunnel Vision and Kill Clip. We've got the Inquisitor, it's an Arc Energy Slug Shotgun, so for PvE, Demolitionist and Golden Tricorn, and PvP Perpetual Motion and Opening Shot. Exalted Truth is an adaptive void hand cannon in the energy slot for PvP Rangefinder and Kill Clip, and PvE Outlaw and Rampage. We got Unwavering Duty it is a power solar machine gun for PvP Dynamic Slow Reduction and Tap the Trigger, and for PvE Auto Loading Holster and Incandescent. Then we got Astral Horizon, it's a kinetic shotgun for PvP Pulse Monitor and Snapshot Sights, or maybe even Vorpal Weapon to be good. And then we got Pugilist and Swashbuckler. And that is good for PvE. Then with the Immortal, it's a kinetic strand submachine gun. For PvP, dynamic sway reduction and range finder would be good. And for PvE, perpetual motion and target lock, well that is a good roll to go for. Well let me know if you're jumping into Trials this weekend and if you are, good luck. And that is it for this guide for Trials of Osiris and the map and rewards this weekend on the 31st of March 2023. Well don't forget to subscribe, I'll see you real soon.